The treatment as well as appropriate diagnosis of chronic prostatitis is quite challenging because there are so many unknowns about the etiopathogenesis and diagnosis. Unfortunately, there is not any single treatment modality which fully cures chronic prostatitis or relieves all the associated symptoms. So, personalized patient care where different treatment techniques are used in combination depending on the variable clinical picture should be the management strategy of choice to get a satisfactory outcome. Therefore, a multidisciplinary approach involving a close collaboration between disciplines such as urology, diagnostic and interventional radiology, physical therapy and psychiatry is usually critical for a proper management. The main challenge in chronic prostatitis is to differentiate chronic bacterial or type 2 prostatitis from chronic non-bacterial or type 3 prostatitis. The latter entity is also defined as chronic pelvic pain syndrome referring to chronic pain which is a cardinal symptom and I think the use of the term pelvic rather than the word prostate implies the ambiguous etiology or source. In cases where bacteria are detected, the treatment comprises the use of oral antibiotics for four to six weeks, but the absence of bacteria in laboratory tests does not exclude the possibility of bacterial infection or type 2 prostatitis, mainly because the tests may not have been performed appropriately or they may not be of optimum accuracy. So this complicates the picture even further because the symptoms associated with type 2 and 3 prostatitis are very similar and making a proper distinction may be quite difficult. Therefore, some centers might prefer including antibiotics to the treatment protocol even though no bacteria has been detected in the tests. On the other hand, antibiotics may not be helpful either because blood prostate barrier may form an obstacle preventing their adequate penetration to prostatic tissue or because the increasing antibiotic resistance, which is a major public health problem, lessens their efficacy. Nowadays, most treatment plans are what's called multimodal in nature, integrating several types of treatments at one time. But we should keep in mind that not all patients respond to all treatment options and even if there is a cure, the condition may recur. Prostate massage used to be the mainstay treatment for chronic prostatitis previously and the main assumption was that this would work because massaging the prostate would help drain the intraprostatic ducts so that antibiotics would better penetrate and improve prostatic circulation. But the current scientific data does not support its efficacy and I personally do not use or recommend it anymore. In cases where no bacteria can be detected, the main goal should be elevating the symptoms and among these, among the medications used are alpha blockers like Flomax or Tansilocin, relaxing the smooth muscles of the prostate and bladder neck, decreasing the high urine pressure in turn, anti-inflammatories and herbal supplements like quercetin. Another therapeutic approach which I follow as well is direct intraprostatic or periprostatic injection of several medications based on the assumption that this would enable the therapeutic agents infiltrate the prostate tissue in a tremendously higher concentration compared to their application through other routes. This strategy has been followed by many centers including several in the States and for this we perform transsectal ultrasound evaluation of the prostate gland, seminal vesicles and other nearby structures not only for diagnostic purposes but also to perform an image-guided interventional procedure where we inject different cocktails in a predetermined specific intraprostatic or periprostatic targets via transperineal or transsectal route. Of course, these cocktails may have variable content for personalized care depending on the clinical picture in each patient and we get quite satisfactory clinical outcome with these protocols. Among the medications to be considered are steroids, anti-inflammatories, analgesics, muscle relaxants, antibiotics, antifungals and botox, all of which have a scientific background for use. In addition, lifestyle change is crucial for a proper management of chronic prostatitis. 
Therefore, caffeine, alcohol and spicy foods should be avoided as they can irritate the prostate. Regular exercise, pelvic floor physical therapy to release any tightness in the pelvic floor, extracorporeal shockwave therapy on the perineum, avoiding sitting for prolonged periods of time might all help to elevate the symptoms. Chronic prostatitis may cause high patient anxiety and depression and this entity is also more common among anxious men or those with a depressive mood. So stress relief through therapy or proper medication like antidepressants might be, might be necessary in many patients.